hello people of god good night how are you doing this is just a quick chat but as i'm saying chat i'm seeing the holy spirit revealing to me a prophetic word so holy spirit you lead accordingly when i was going through my dry season And things was just not looking up for me the way that I wanted it to. I remembered things was so, when I tell you, horribly bad. Everything physically that made me feel comfortable. Either they were stolen from me by Satan. Some things were just detached by God. And I remember saying to God, I said, I was crying that day because it, it was just so much. You know, people that I trusted, that I loved, what I would never expect those kind of things of them. They betrayed me so hard above all of the things that I was detached from and, and that I was detached from and things that was stolen from me, it was just a bit too much that day. And I said, God, crying, bawling in tears. I said, God, if it were not for my children, I would ask you to take me home to glory. Because you know what? Sometimes parents or caregivers, we care so much for the children that we care for, whether biological or non-biological, that we don't want to leave them behind. But then, God revealed something to me, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me, and He said, what about your purpose? You see, I was just thinking about my children on the fleshly end, so the carnal part of me. But God was concerned about what is what about my what about the purpose that I have written up for you that I have predestined for you even before I allowed you to be in my world I say my world because this world is his he asked me what about your purpose and I felt like he was saying like, do you really want me to take you? And there are so many great things that I have written up in my glory for you. Why are you submitting to these things? What about the purpose that I have for you? And my, my mindset changed. I said, God, forgive me. And I think I admitted to him that it, and I was like, God, this is hard. And I ask his forgiveness. And this is an encouragement for someone. What about your purpose? God does all things well. What about your purpose? You may be going through a hard time a rough time that you don't even know how you could see tomorrow and you want to commit suicide or you are a christian and you want god to take you home but god is saying what about your purpose you see in order for your purpose to be fulfilled you need life and god gave you that so don't sell yourself short and ask God to take you before his time. Or if you're not saved or even saved. 
to commit suicide it's a lie what about your purpose consider these words next today I just felt that God I just felt expectant that God is about to do something unexpected and unexpected suddenly I just felt it in my spirit but I didn't know how to go about it and as I moved along my day I was even afraid to say through my mouth because I was like I don't want to give Satan no access to what God is about to do for me so I'm just gonna be quiet maybe it's a secret God is telling me but I have to be quiet mm. But when the season is ripe, the Holy Spirit is revealing to me season three. When you are at the right place and God speak things and, and let put it in your spirit, the Holy Spirit, put it in your spirit that be expectant something is coming your way. And the season is ripe. You got to praise God. You got to break out in praises to God. And as I dropped my kids off at the mall. And I was leaving. I felt within my spirit like, God only, why are you not praising God? And I saw that in my vision. God was revealing to me, praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. And as I was walking to the car, I tell you, I know sometimes people might think this girl is crazy. Because I praise God and I talk to God as if he's right there next to me. But let me tell you something. When you've been through things, you don't have no time to sit down or stand up or, and look and see what other people are saying. Of course, you do it in your secret corner. But sometimes while driving, I speak to God. As if he is there while I'm walking to the car. If it's dark and there is no one around, I'll talk to God. Hope, like I almost say, Hawon. I will speak to God normally, but of course, if if other people are around, then I would, you know, I would know how to do it. But in other words, I was just speaking to God and just telling God, I praise Him, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I said, God, I don't know what you're about to do, but all when I was in when I was in the mall, I just ke I kept seeing God kept revealing visions to me of what He's gonna give to me, and I began crying. I began crying because I was like, God, this is a long time that the devil stole these things from me. And I have been waiting for you in the beginning. I was not waiting patiently. But I was like, God, whenever you are ready. Whenever you are ready. And when I got back, I started to praise God. And thank God. So if you feel in your spirit that you are in season three. Because that is what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me. Season three. If you feel it within your spirit that this is the time and you feel that God is placing something in you that that be expectant because an unexpected suddenly is about to come place for you. Unexpected suddenlies are about to come forth for you because I was saying suddenly but the Holy Spirit corrected me and said suddenlies are about to come forth for you. Don't double think it and say maybe it's me. Maybe because I am fed up. Let me tell you something. When you reach to a place in God where you're like, God, whenever you are ready, I am ready. And when God see that you are at peace and you can trust him and you are ready, he's going to put it in your spirit. And that is for you to be expectant. That is for you to praise him and thank him. Remember, God said the scrolls have returned. He gave that word spiritually and things has to take place spiritually before they come forth physically. So we got the, the, the spiritual word already and now it's time for the physical happen happening for those of us that are in season three. 
so you all praise God and thank God if you feel that expectancy that thing that you have been waiting for God for if he has placed it in your spirit praise him